I shouldn't steal everything. Ah, who am I kidding? They have enough money to buy more. <laughs> ah, good morning, friends. Brenda returns from the void. Seems the bar has uh, cleared out quite a bit. Might have uh, behooved me a bit to pay for a room. It was not exactly the most comfortable sleep that uh, I could have imagined, but it will do. Free is always nice, especially in a place where uh, these people don't seem to agree with me so much. But nevertheless, that is completely fine. You know, people are uh, allowed to have their differences, but that doesn't mean I have to patronize their establishments, you understand. I do have uh, quite a bit in my backpack to offload, so we might be visiting some shops this morning. I would also like to uh, talk a bit to the court magister and see what he might unveil as far as spells and the like, yes? Ah, and quite nice in the morning light. It was uh, a bit creepy when I showed up last night. Unfortunately, they seem to have just veteran? left this fellow much to ask. laying without his head on the pedestal. Perhaps as a, a message to others who might join up with the Stormcloaks, hmm? Ah, uh, poor Mr. Rogvir. Brenda, I'm sorry this happened to you, you know? Ah, uh, this was almost my fate. Way back when I first came into Skyrim. And yes, he holds the Amulus of Talos. Which means he is praising a god that, uh, supposedly has been banned in this land. Most unfortunate that, but uh, I applaud him for not stooping low as his city, uh, city brethren seem to have done. Alas, it can't be helped, hmm? What is this? I suppose cloth of some kind. Radiant raiment. I have some raiments that uh, you might find quite radiant. Perhaps you would like to take them from Brandar. And Why to hello, purchase, hmm? here to buy. If you have to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Oh my goodness. So high class it is, hmm? Yes. It looks a bit like a dungeon. But uh, I suppose if your wares are fine, then they, they are fine indeed, huh? Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Yes, I can sense that sarcasm. Kajit is quite fluent. Why don't you just oh, show me what me you have as far as gold? Everything to help you. I yes. don't mind. Really. You looked so very busy. Yes, you were. Here standing at the counter, hmm? I can help with purchases, but if you've come to talk, see my sister. She's the one who gets on with people. It's her one virtue, really. My goodness, you are one of uh, one of those people talk down about your own family, hmm? Are you having a bad day or simply a bad life? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Oh, I won't be doing any buying today, but I do have uh, quite a bit in my pack that you might find of interest. What do you have for Breaches, sale? Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Any occasion at all, she says. Wonderful. Well, why don't you take some of these things? I see that you have a good amount of gold, and uh, Brandar would like to make it his, if you were uh, so inclined, hmm? Yes, this is very nice. These black mage robes, I found them just on the floor. I didn't strip anybody naked or anything weird like that. I've got some rings here for you, circlets. My goodness, you will find this quite nice, I think. Novice robes of alteration. Silver rings. Oh, how many do you want? All of them? My goodness. My goodness, what a good buyer you are. I, ha I hate to part with the silver, as per usual, but uh, gold must be made, you understand? Hmm, and that seems to be uh, about all I have for you at the moment. I do appreciate it. What might you have uh, under miscellaneous? Oh, look at these boys and girls dresses, my goodness. And a nice price as well, huh? Well, unfortunately, uh, Brandar has no children of his own. Not yet, at least. 
Ah, and this is a red guard's hat. Did you perhaps find this on the ground? Just perhaps, uh, by chance, you didn't strip it off of any dead bodies, did you? <laughs> I kid, of course. Oh, and look at this assortment of boots, my goodness. Shoes everywhere. Well, I know the ladies, they do like their shoes, huh? <laughs> ah, I thank you so much. Wonderful, see you. Finally. Oh. What a wench. What a wench she is! I did see a, a lockbox in the back. Perhaps Brandar might be back quite soon, hmm? You might appreciate me a bit more if you were uh, not so well off, you see. Take some of the gold and then maybe they appreciate the gold that starts coming in, hmm? At least uh, that is one theory. Oh, scales of some sort. Oh, and there's no door. Where's the door for this one? Ah, you should put the door in, in front of the sign. Just just one Khajiit's opinion makes things a bit easier to find. Bits and pieces! Bits and pieces of animals hanging on the walls, yes. So wonderful. And exactly the same layout as the last shop. Fascinating. Hello there! You got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. <laughs> Indeed it was. It uh, has made me uh, think some things about this town. Huh. I'm not quite sure if they're true you know, yet. You've got a certain fire in your eyes. Just like Fuck. my parent. Please, yes. feel free to look around. We've got a bit of everything. Who is, uh, who is this you speak of? Look around. We've Tell got me about you Mr. Baron. Hmm? Baron's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Hmm. Well, at least he uh, has has a, a job. He pays the bills, yes? Make sure that this lovely shop stays open of yours. Perhaps he's also the hunter, hmm? Did you kill these bears and these moose? <laughs> no easy feat. Did you see the execution of Rogvir as well? No. That was an ugly affair. High King mm. Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling <laughs> speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Yes, everybody hail the Empire. Oh, they will keep us so safe by taking away our freedoms. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I've heard it all before. <laughs> You and I have quite a lot in common, Seima. I do appreciate your candor uh, while speaking with Brandar, you know. The last shop I was in, this lady, she would not even talk to me hardly at all. But Brandar, he loves to talk. He has so much to say all the time, just always talking. But okay, I will stop talking now. I have quite a bit of things in my sack that perhaps you would find of interest. Uh, would you pull out some gold and show me your wares? Maybe we can make an even exchange. Hmm? Take a look. I shall. Oh, you have much, don't you? I like these arrows. Please, give to me. Ah, oh, you've got orcish arrows as well? Hmm, I can only wonder where you find these, huh? <laughs> but I shan't, shan't ask too many questions, you know. It's not very uh, becoming to ask so many questions of someone you've just met. Poison resist. I've not encountered much poison that I can tell. Ah, perhaps these healing potions might come in handy. I do brew a bit of my own, but uh, there's nothing quite like a, a pre-brewed potion, you know? It's just so simple, so easy, so lovely to use. Ah, and you have many ingredients as well for the brewing. Wonderful. Well, uh, hmm, I shall hold off on this for now. Your price is mm, a little high for Brandar's taste, you know. Usually I prefer to pick the Thunder Coffin for myself. Do you perhaps have some lockpicks, though? That would be helpful for me. Ah, uh, only six. Well, that will be fine for my purposes, I do suppose, you know. I don't, uh, I don't like to get into trouble so much, you know. Sometimes I just leave my keys in my house, you know, this is why I need so many lockpicks. I'm just forgetful, that's what it is. Don't worry, don't worry. 
Ah, this sword. Let me tell you, I received this sword from a god. It is not for sale. But perhaps you would like this uh, battle axe. Hmm? Quite, quite strong. Uh, good for taking down the mages, things like that. Do you know anything of magicka? Hmm, nothing at all. That's that's quite sad. But ah, uh, you can't be blamed for that. You know, Brandar was standoffish about the magicka too at first. But uh, yes, it's it's starting to uh, take hold. You know, just a little bit. I have a bow of cowardice. Send your enemies fleeing. Quite nice. Ah, uh, battle axe. Yes, I think you will like this. And uh, orcish sword. I'm not quite sure where this came from, if you want me to be quite honest, but um... Then I've got this Dwarven Bow, it does a good amount of damage, you know? I think I shall switch. I, I shall sell you this Bow of Arcing, and uh... I will miss the uh... The shock damage that it does. Hmm... Ah... Uh, well, with the shock damage it about evens out, doesn't it? Okay. You can have this Dwarven Bow, I know you are so looking forward to it. I do apologize for the, uh, the bit of rambling that I tend to do, but, uh, you know, it helps to pass the time, make some friends out here. It's, it's such a lonely life, you know, the life of a bard, I tell you what. You must, uh, always, always be looking, reaching out for, uh, people who might be helpful to you in the future, hmm? That would be quite nice. Oh, I've sold you my hood. I, I... I did not want to do that. Can I have it back? Oh, quite a price for that to uh, just take it back again. But okay, that is that is fine. Because you see, when it starts raining, I have to get the hood. You know, it's it's never a nice thing. Uh, I've got some treats here, but I don't think you'd be interested in that. Hmm. How about some books? Are you uh, interested in books? Brandar's been doing quite a bit of reading. Some of these books I left out in uh, in the, the wilderness. Perhaps you should uh, go have a look for them. Hmm? Oh, don't don't worry. Brandar will mind this this shop. Surely. Ah, operation. Yes, these spell books I must keep. Surely, surely. Hmm. Gate one opening. Gate two rest. My goodness. I'm not quite unsure what some of these things are. Yes, indeed. Thief book I shall keep. Yes, words and philosophy. Hmm. Quite fond of this as well. Perhaps you would like some gemstones. These tend to sell quite nicely, yes? Hmm. I think you shall find a good place for them. There's some ore. Dragon bones, dragon scales. I can sell you the bone, it can be uh, turned into a heavy armor, which I think you would uh, quite like. Or your husband, if he's the uh, the armor in the family, hmm? Yes, he should quite enjoy. You can tell him Brandar will surely come across some more. And uh, perhaps I, I will give you a good price for that, hmm? I am quite generous in some respects. In other ways, not so much. You know, Brandar always wants a good deal. You can't just uh, give things away. Hmm, and this. This is quite nice. How about a hundred gold? Seventy-two? It's an interesting number, but okay, here you go. Wonderfully done. Thank you so much. Ah, you've been quite a gracious host, and I thank you. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Bits and pieces. Oh, I shall tell my friends of this place. And uh, there's no lockbox in the back. Which I suppose is a good thing, hmm? Brandar need to revisit this place at any point soon. <laughs> ah, let's see. Seems my bag is quite a bit lighter. Yes, we're looking pretty good now. The children running, playing tag, whatever they do. Hmm. I've got a little work. I met her I've been before. Her. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your oh. hands only. Interesting. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Interesting. I don't think I've spoken to this person before. Carcelmo in Markarth. Hmm. 
Is this the one? No, no. Where would that be? Ah, Caselmo. Yes, of course. Hmm, it has come to my attention you may have recently acquired a certain dwarven arrow from bits and pieces. I'm not sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it, or not, find another one. I would be most appreciative if you were to bring it to me here in Markarth. I shall pay handsomely. Interesting. I shall consider this. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Ah, and what do you new. say? I'm new too. I think we could be friends. Heard Let's be friends. Dawn guard. Vampire Lovely to meet you. Uh, what is your name? Through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make myself. some easy gold, yes? Hmm, easy gold is always nice. Uh, what do you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. Mm -hmm. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Yes, uh, Brandar is also a bit of a treasure hunter. Uh, what, what sort of treasures might you hunt underground, hmm? I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks. Loaded with weapons and pay, but few people. And they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in. But if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. Interesting. So what you're saying is you want me to put lives at risk by extinguishing this lighthouse fire in order to uh, pirate the goods of only one ship? Uh, this seems quite cold-blooded, although... I should expect one such from one so scaled, hmm? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Interesting. I think, uh... With the setting up of the wreck, I should turn you into the guards, but Brandar's no friend of the guards either. Ah, what is the purpose? I don't understand. This, the greed has taken hold of you, like so? Brandar has some coins, you may have some if you wish. You, you needn't do this to uh, the sailors on the boat. What, what will become of them? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Hmm. I don't think I'm interested in this. Ah, uh, half of me says to turn you into the turn guards. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. Mm. You know, usually I trust the Argonians, because they have tails like Brandar, but uh, it seems that the greed has gone to your head, and you are not one to be trusted. I'm sorry. I would like to make a new friend, but not at the cost of other people. If those sailors had wronged you in some way, perhaps I could be talked around, but uh, they are just trying to make a living. So are you, I suppose, but you need to go about it in a different way. I'm sorry, friend, I won't be doing this. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. A little indeed. About as little as possible. There will be no words from Randar. <sighs> what a strange place this is. People just, uh... Plotting the downfall of others for no reason at all. Shameful. Oh, it seems they have a little set up outside. Keep the cold at bay with our spiced wine. Apples, oh, they're selling tomatoes, drinks. Hmm? And cabbages, fresh and ripe. Fresh and fish, fruits, straight from the fjords. And meats. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose that's fine. They should really uh, invest the money in a shop. I would be more inclined to buy. Oh, a torch bug out during the day, hmm? Fascinating. This is a, quite a nice town, you know? Quite a bit to explore, but uh, the people here... I don't think they can be trusted, hmm? Don't trust them as far as I can throw them. That is for sure. And I probably couldn't throw them very far, is what I'm saying. Maybe if I put them in a bow, I could shoot them. Hmm. What is this? Looking for the castle, but everything here seems to look like a castle, hmm? <laughs> ah. Shields. Is anyone home? It's a shrine to RK. Let us uh, have, a, have a little touch, hmm? Place my hands. Ah, blessing, blessings of RK upon me. I did like the blessing of the Bella a bit more. Felt, felt like a warm hug, you know. But uh, oh well, can't be helped. Hello to you. Hello, my child. RK, watch over you. Hmm. Greetings to you. May R.K. bless you with a long life, a proud death, and a restful grave. Indeed, and you as well, my friend. Have you tended the Hells of the Dead long? You, uh, look quite aged. And I suppose the honorable death will come to you quite soon, hmm? How long exactly have you attended the Halls here? All my life. I practically grew up in the Hall. My father and mother were the priest and priestess of R.K for me, you see? I believe mm. I was put here to protect this place from the darkness that pervades solitude. And what darkness is that? Brandar has noticed quite a bit of uh, strange goings on here. Might you tell me more? This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen, Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now public executions. My books tell the stories, have no doubt, as pretty as its streets are, as jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. Fascinating. Well, will you be burying the, uh, the man who was executed here, I assume? You mean Rogvir? Yes, I made an appeal to Captain Aldous. He allowed Rogvir to have a proper Nord burial as is the custom in solitude. Well, at least that part is nice. Maybe Brandar can find out a bit more of this darkness, hmm? I thank you for your time. Sorry to interrupt your sleep as well. Hmm. Apologies for that. I suppose you're wandering around at night quite a bit, hmm? Communing with the ghosts? <laughs> I shall let you sleep more. I apologize. Never interrupt an old man's sleep, huh? May R.K. bless you with a long life. And you as well. Nighty night. Sleep tight. Mm. <clears throat> and he sleeps in his robes, which I find quite interesting, but... Brandar slept in a bench in all of his clothes, so I suppose I'm not one to judge, huh? Halls of the dead. Is it possible to get down into the Halls of the Dead? Hmm... Seems not. At least uh, not in a way that is completely apparent to me. Ah... I do need these healing potions, I do apologize. Sorry, RK, please don't shorten my life just because of that. Who am I kidding? Brandar has nine lives. You can shorten one of them. That's an even exchange. <laughs> nope. Ah. Sorry. Nothing. Perhaps these are the halls, hmm? Interesting. Brandar must have a look. At the very least. Hmm. We've been exploring quite a few catacombs in our adventures here. Ah. Hello to you! 
Mr. Skeleton. Not on the lookout, is he? Clumsy, clumsy. You see what becomesy, clumsy? When you're so clumsy, clumsy. Hmm. Mm, berries? Yes, I can use some of these in alchemy. Very nice. Are these uh, meant for the dead? They have no use of these things. Brandar will take them. I shall put them into a uh, good use and perhaps bring the potions back for you. Wouldn't that be so nice? Hmm. Don't hold your breath. Not that you have any to hold. <laughs> ah, another skeleton down. And how about your friend here? Done and done. Brandar does not play around with these undead. Hmm. What have you for me? I'm hoping to find some bone meal, something of this sort. Hmm, there we are. Wonderful. And uh, maybe a bit more offerings for Brandar. Some goblets. Ah, they are pewter. I thought made of silver. I thought maybe I take, but uh, they are pewter. Not good, not good. I don't like. Hmm. I suppose deeper into the catacombs we should go. Yes. Side door just here. Into the halls of the dead. I hope not to awaken any spirits down here. I just want to poke around, you understand? My cat-like curiosity takes hold. Ah, and it seems we're back to that fellow's house, huh? Is this somewhere different? Oh my. Look at all of these skulls. Fascinating. Oh, down to the halls. I see now. That's quite convenient, isn't it? Should uh, some bandits enter your house, you can go up and around, back behind them. Yes, indeed. What a setup he has. <laughs> uh, there doesn't seem to be so much down here. Put a few uh, restless spirits back to bed. And for that, uh, I think that makes up for the, the healing potions that found their way into my bag. And yes, these healing potions will be much more use to me, of course. It's a no-brainer, hmm? Locked door. Well, no match for Brandar, but during the daylight, hmm. Better think twice about that. It seems uh, the castle is there. Hmm, many residences line the streets. There's an argument going on somewhere. Hmm. Even money can't buy happiness, you see that? That's a good lesson for, all, for life. Brandar has uh, been poor many times in his life. But luckily, uh, I only seem to make it back somehow. My, what a lavish house this is, huh? I need to borrow some of this tundra cotton. Ooh, enchanting table. Oh, don't you have an alchemy set somewhere around here? Seems not. A couple of soul gems might be nice. Wow, these are very nice potions. Stamina, magicka. There's a healing potion for me. I shouldn't steal everything. Ah, who am I kidding? They have enough money to buy more. <laughs> Give me all of these, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Is the owner around here somewhere? Oh, we found our way to the balcony. Oh, wonderful. Brenda should like to smoke cigars out this way. 
<laughs> ah, been quite a while since we had a, a little sit down with some more of our vices. Hmm? The itch uh, is taking me over a little bit. My body says, "Drink, drink." I know you've got skooma in the bag. Drink it. I'm trying to resist, friends. Ah, oh, but it is a hard thing to say no to. The moon sugar. Mmm, so sweet. And I think that the, uh, the Khajiit are a bit predisposed to an addiction of sorts. One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.